on my way to Berryport. Um, the Lanny, and then I'm going to Berryport. There's a nice, nice little wooded area. A nice park and a bench and that. Woodland and bench and stuff. So, uh, it's like, it's not in a valley valley, it's on the edge near Swansea in between Lilani and Swansea and uh, I'll just stop for a little break. I see someone's lost some fish and tackle down there. So I'll try and get it out and see if I can do a bit of fishing. While I'm in Wales, get a trout or something. Actually, I'll do that now, so, yeah. Right. It's gonna be another fucking rant now. That, for two and a half miles, is not a cycle path. I would, I could barely manage that on a full suspension bike. Let alone this bike. Okay? South Strands. Please sort it out. This is twice in two days, yeah? And I've nearly come off. There's a river each side. This is the thick bit here. This is a thicker bit than over there, yeah? And you've got bulrushes that drop about eight or nine foot and then they drop about 20 foot into a fucking river. And then the same, same side, the other side. And we've got planes flying past, so I'm looking up. Which I shouldn't be doing, but it's interesting. But yeah, please, Australians, please sort it out. I'm on my way to Carmarthen or wherever the hell it is. I'm near Burryport or Kidwally or, well, I, I was near Lanelli and I've been following the site route and it's from there to here and there's a Lions T room or something. A lion's tea room was sat on over there. And I don't get it, so strange. Why, why, why the beautiful, beautifully paved cycle path? And then you just cut it off. I thought I'd made a mistake and someone had ripped down a sign or something. Because I was going to turn back about half a mile ago and turn around. But no, I thought, I, luckily I thought, yeah, I'll keep on it. See if it is a cycle route. And it is a cycle route. How is that a fucking cycle route? Anyway, we're nearly there. There's old train tracks down there, so it's obviously an old train track going right down there, and really old cobbly, and there's big stones bigger than my fucking head. Well, about half the size of your head type thing. In the bloody road, and each time that I go over a little stone, even a little stone, my bags come off. Even though they're strapped down with vel Velcro, they still shake off. Because you're shaking the whole fucking bike. I don't know what the military are practicing around here, but they're practicing Sutton. I thought we got all the practicing of aircraft out of the way after fucking Vietnam, mate, I'm sure. But anyway, I'm off to Carmarthen or... Where am I off to? Kidwelly or Burryport or... Wherever it takes me now. Right, happy days. It's now starting raining. There's rain on the lens and shit. I don't like cleaning or touching the lens because it just smudges and then you can't see anything on it. Through it, rather. But yes, yeah, Sustrans, please just do something about that. That is no place for a cycle to go. Look, it's not even a path. It's just that little trail there. Fill up bumps and bricks and rubbish that people have burnt on it and metal springs and fucking all sorts anyway let's get on and enjoy our day because otherwise I'm going to just be pissed off in the rain I'll see you in a minute right I'm standing on the edge of the abyss looking out over the Welsh coastline still South Wales it's quite cool over there I don't know what that is just some rocks some 
pretty cool coastline all the way around there's some houses there or something yeah some houses a little flag but then again they are like 15 miles away well about 10-15 miles away right I'm standing on this and that is a fucking 400 foot drop down in the sea there like I'm as high as that cliff near whoa so I've got to go <laughs> right I'm, um, I'm nearly at fish, fish guard I wish um, I'm nearly at Carmarthen and uh, it looks like it's only about six or seven miles down the, down that road way. It's the main road here, and, uh, and uh, yeah, basically, Route Four is just really vague. It's not. It's not that you get lost or as such, but it's more that you just don't know. It's, Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Do they have to do this speed? It's only a single fucking carriageway. Yeah, but you don't know all... You don't know whether or not you're on the right track. Because it went about 10-15 miles with no signs at all. So I just... I kept on the same road and luckily... Uh, it come out alright. So, I'm just in a bus shower having a little fag and shit like that. Yeah, just chilling for a bit, and then I'll get back on the road. Right, I'm in Kermathen. <laughs> Some idiot told me it took five hours to get here. I just got here in two hours, and uh, yeah, he was also a cyclist and obviously a fool. And if you ever give like someone like me wrong directions, they're gonna prove you wrong. Cool. It's a weird bit chilly. Right, I'm knackered. I've just cycled 60 miles today, something like that. And the last bit of it was a fucking killer. Up hills that I mainly pushed up. And I got further down the road and I saw a sign. Similar to that sign. Cycle, cyclist campsite, only for cyclists. No cars or caravans or fuck all. Well, they can't be, it's this gate here. And But it's further down the road that way. And uh, um, the signs down that way, uh, Sustran Site Route 4 signs, is uh, it's a junction right there, and it's in a place called Lagnog or Lagnog, 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 Nigleg. Yeah, it's Nigleg, Lagnog. And uh, yeah, Lagnog or something. And uh, basically, it's seven quid a night for cyclists. And uh, anyone else is three quid each additional person. You can, ooh, you can hire a bell tent for £25 a night for four adults. That sounds good to me. And uh, basically you've got my tent down there. The tent, the porter toilet tent behind it is your shower. There's table and chairs. The thing my bike's leaning up against is a fire pit. There's firewood in that shed. Well, was. It's all burnt. There's a fire thing and there's male and female toilets and bins and there's fresh water and for all you cyclists whoa that is close to my nose I need a nose job that's what I need maybe that's why I ain't got a girlfriend 
Maybe it's my teeth. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, he's building his own fucking house over there. Like, if you can see that, I don't know if you can or not. But I don't give a shit. I'm just glad it stopped raining. It's been pissing it down all day. I'm not too fussed that it's been pissing it down all day. I'm just glad that I've found somewhere to camp. I'm nice and dry. And, uh, and she'll make a separate video of this. Hold on. So, right, basically, today, this is a map. Sorry about all the riffraff. This is a map the guy gave me. Uh, a bloke gave me. It was from, uh, it was from down here somewhere, but it's, this one's from Swansea. There's Swansea. Sorry about the redness. And it goes all the way to Carmarthen, which is, uh, that says, 140 and that says 98 so 40 miles plus 20 no plus 15 sorry so there's 55 miles I've done the day plus uh plus 10 so that yeah that's 65 fucking hell mate I've done loads of miles today so I've done 65 miles today luckily I got out of Carmarthen otherwise I'd be able to get a white mill or wherever it is up there to get a campsite but luckily I just carried on the cycle route I booked my train tickets um, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from, uh, Lelanginog, Lelanginog it's called, I think, something like that, and I'll do that down to Tenby in a day, easily, or Pembroke, either way, but it's 60 miles from there to St David's, and then on, uh, Sunday, I'm going to fish guard to get my train on Monday. So today's Thursday, I think it's Thursday today. So on, tomorrow, I go down to Pembroke, for instance, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, I'm going to fish guard, and then get my train. And where I'm getting my train from is um, I'm I'm going to be I'm going to be getting my train from uh, fish guard to. Uh, Bristol? Fucking Bristol. Uh, uh, no, it's not fucking Bristol, is it? It's, uh, uh, whatever, whatever's the main Cardiff, that's it. From Cardiff to, uh, from Fishguard to Cardiff, and then I'm going from Cardiff to, um, up north, right at the top of the Wales, so I'm cycle west. Uh, Biz, I won't be in Wales when I leave the train station. Uh, I'll be somewhere I can't think of the top of my head. Biz, I, I, I couldn't care less at this moment in time. I mean, it's uh... oh Chester, yeah Chester. So I'm going to Chester on the train from Cardiff. So it's Fishguard, Cardiff, and Cardiff Chester. I'm getting to Chester about seven seven thirty in the evening. And then uh, on Monday evening this is, and uh, so at least I'm not stuck in the city on a fucking Friday night, which would be shit. And uh, then I'm cycling west the next day, which will be Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever I, I go. And uh, whenever I start cycling, I'll cycle west to Snowdonia. I'll get to, uh, climb Snowdon hopefully if it's a clear day and it's not pissing miserable and it's going to be shitty weather, but. At least I have the option then of getting it, but the train was £33 altogether from Fishguard to Cardiff or wherever, yeah, Cardiff, and then Cardiff to che uh, Chester. That uh, that's £33, which is really good. I booked it in advance. Um, uh, there was no problem with my bike. Uh, they have limited accommodation for bikes on the train sometimes, but I, I made sure by booking it in advance. And no extra charge. They will never charge you extra, no matter where in the UK you are, obviously. And uh, if if they do, tell them fuck off. Quite literally, I do. And uh, it's not been rude. It's just that they've been rude trying to rip you off in the first place. So uh, if they've been rude, then you'd be rude. But it doesn't really work like that most of the time in life. But when it comes to money and uh, your time out of your life, you, you're trying to uh, go around the country, uh, whatever. But anyway... Uh, yeah, there's a tractor, so that, that's what I'm doing, and I'm now about to have something to eat anyway, so. Right, 
Now this is what it's all about. I've got my curry burning away. I really should stir that now, but I've got my oh, camera in my hand, so I can't. I've got my coffee. I've got my cameras. I've got my map. What I'm gonna do? I've got my tent. I've got my dry place for the night, and there's a fat cloud now coming over, and I'm just sorting out some stuff. I've got my extra padlocks, uh, cable locks that I don't didn't really need, but just in case when you get a cable lock, make sure it's like um, a really strong threaded one. There's two different types of threads. There's a twisted treble thread, and there's like a nine weave thread. Both are all right, and both of them cost about eight quid each. And uh, yeah, this thing's really work working well, but the gas is running out really quick. It's a proper camping gas one now, like from uh, Go Outdoors is where I got it from. But the one before that lasted near enough all the lands in John O'Groats, and this one has lasted from Gloucester to here for about five nights. So it's not that good really, like the modern ones. It's a, a blue one, a blue tin of gas. And um, it's one where it hasn't already got the piercing in, but you have to screw the top in, this top bit here, it screws into the bottom. And, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, this, this bottom bit contains the, the canister, obviously. And when it screws in, it pierces through the actual can, the canister. But, um, yeah, them modern ones are crap, so don't get them. Get, uh, my old one was a silver one, and uh, with blue and yellow writing, I believe. So it weren't, but they were, they were a lot more affordable. <laughs> they were £2.50, these ones were, and the other ones were like £1.27p or something. A lot, really odd number, you know, 29p or whatever, from like a fish and tackle shop in Felix, too. But anyway, uh, yeah, I've got my uh, my old curry and my Uncle Ben's Mexican style rice. And now we're going to have about 10 seconds. That's going to be ready. So I'll see you soon.